Yo, what's up, YouTube? Kamsi here, and today I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make really cool 3D text in Cinema 3D. And also, I'm gonna put the winner of the background I gave away in the last video in this uh, video description. I'm, uh, and I'm also gonna post a comment on the other video. Then you all will see who won it. And yeah. So let's start with the tutorial. You only need Cinema 4D in today's tutorial. It's like I'm only gonna show you how you can make 3D text in here. I made a tutorial on how you can get this gran this text as crunchy as I did in my last or in one of my last tutorials. Just scroll down on my channel and you will find it. It's one of my firsts. So yeah, um, let's start on here. Like open up a light room you like. I opened up. The uh, Lightroom for subs from Rated Shift X Pack. I really like that one. Uh, if you don't, just search out a um, a Lightroom you like and open it up. So, first what you're gonna do is go on MoGraph and Mo Text, and then you got this text here. Now you click the text layer, go on Object, just put in some random text. I'm gonna put in Tutorial. Choose a nice font. Mm. I don't know, I like this one. No, not for this tutorial. I'm just gonna choose Facebook. So then, make the depth of the the depth of the text to about 200 or 250, something between 200 and 300. I prefer 300 like this so it will look like this um, and just if you need to move the text move it that it's in this window here like you can see here here that's the render region and yeah if it's out of there it won't get rendered so yep now go on caps make full of cap and I put on steps 2 and radius 2 as well and same at the back Two and two. So now you're just gonna duplicate that layer, press C and V, and it will just duplicate the layer. So now you have this one, and also fill a cap steps to about five and centimeters to about four. You just wanna have a round edge on here. It just looks good, and uh, if you don't like it, just change it to about one steps and four centimeters or whatever so now you're just gonna move that in the back a bit um, to get on this view with these four windows just click that window on here and you will have the four window one from the top one from the side one from the front and here the one you have the 3d added and everything so now you can pre-render it that's how this will look. Um, but now we need materials. I'll choose an orange one or yeah, just orange or green. Whatever. I'll just just choose green. So the back I uh, like to make black. And now if you render that out, it looks like. Come on like this so you actually don't really see the back because the background of Cinema 4D is black and this thing is black but um, the thing what I want to show you in this tutorial is how to make the steps to the back like I did in a few of my texts I got asked how I did that like looking so good and for that just duplicate your black layer and now uh, you go on caps put the steps on 6 the radius on no put the steps on one and the radius on six the steps on one and the radius on six at the end as well and now go on object and put it to about fifteen or twenty just something like that um and also make sure you're gonna add a gray material or something like that I'm just gonna add a gray material now you go on the side and like move it into the back and then just duplicate it move it into the back 
duplicate again, move it into the back again, and like that until you're done, like so. And then if you're under that out now, it will look like, come on, it will look like this, a lot better than before, and if you don't like the gray, you can also choose like a chrome or a white or whatever color you like. I just like the gray on here. Um, it just looks pretty good and really professional. And yeah, now you can just render it out. Make sure in the render settings at save you have PNG or a QuickTime PNG. Just it should be PNG and all the channels should be checked. And then just render it out by clicking this, and then it should render. So after you render it out, you can use it in Photoshop um, on a background, on a wallpaper, or on whatever you want to use it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. Uh, let's render that one time again to show you how it looks. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. I hope you will leave a like and a comment. And also, if you didn't subscribe and channel yet, please go and subscribe to it. I would really much appreciate that. And also, I'm gonna post the winner of the background in this. Um, in this description, also I'll post a comment on the background giveaway video, and I'll personal match the winner. So yeah, um, if you didn't want, please don't hate on me or on the person who won. I'll make a lot of more giveaways in the next weeks. Um, so stay tuned on my channel and keep your chance open to win something. If you will hate on me now or on the winner you won't even get anything of me so yeah just like that um stay tuned on my channel for the next giveaway the next beer is coming hopefully this weekend i got my new ram yesterday so i can record uh... speeder again and yeah so i hope you all enjoyed this please stay tuned stay active and i'm out peace